did anybody tell you of the record of Sanofi? It's a big company, multi-billion, multi-trillion, perhaps trillion, I don't know, but uh, it certainly it's a multi-billion dollar or multi-billion euro company. I'm sure we're all aware of that, right? Well, I've, I've heard of the company. Of course, uh, uh, Dr. Pasteur, I assume, would have been the inspiration for this particular uh, branch. Yes, uh, and we Dr. Pasteur, the <laughs> British, right? Um, uh, though am I very uh, knowledgeable about Sanofi Pasteur? Perhaps not any more than the... It's a good name to be placed in a company, and I respect the company, okay. just for the record. But I am no expert on what they're able to do. Yeah. They have had previous records of, uh, of bribery, of false claims. I'm not trying to put it down. This comes to the territory, I suppose. In 2009, uh, 2007, China accused them of bribery. On May 2009, in the United States, false claims on Aventis Pharmaceutical Incorporated, a wholly owned subsidiary of Sanofi Aventis, violated the False Claims Act by misrepresenting drug prices in order to reduce its Medicaid drug rebate under the Medicaid drug rebate statute. In the Middle East, sir, in East African countries from 2007 to 2012, Sanofi bribed the doctors in Eastern African and Middle Eastern countries to persuade them to prescribe its drugs. The alleged bribes involved gives another perks. perks. I just want to point out, sir, without casting aspersion on your character, <coughs> that when you meet with uh, drug companies like these, and I'm sure Sanofi is not the only culprit it's been happening, and that's why they have the Lockheed Act in the United States that punishes U.S. companies abroad for engaging in unethical conduct, such as bribery and other things. I would imagine that, uh, no fault of your own, you were not briefed on your first meeting in China in APEC. On the allegations or charges against Sanofi, both for the China meeting nor even the Paris meeting, was I informed of any of this? Yes, sir. The point that I'm trying to make is that uh, there ought to be a certain amount of due diligence. I'm not saying that I'm a total angel, but I'm just saying that with all this uh, signs, um, I would imagine that the government or Secretary Green ought to have been more careful and circumspect in dealing with Sanofi, considering that they're very, very high-pressure salesmen.